Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we're going to discuss on how to install MongoDB 7 in your Ubuntu. So let's start. To start with, let us update and upgrade our Linux Ubuntu. So let's start. From our Ubuntu, let us open the terminal and paste the code line. Alright, we're done. Let's proceed now on the next step. From here on, let us begin now the installation. First, we need to import our public key to use by the package management system. To start with, let us install new PG and curl. So let's start. And there you go. Next, let us import the Mongo public key. Right, let's move on the next step. Next, let us create a list file for MongoDB. And there you go. Next, let us reload now our local package. So let's start. And there you go. Finally, at this point here, we're going to install the MongoDB package. So let's start. And there you go. Once done, let us run now our MongoDB. To run our MongoDB, let us type the following. Next, to verify the MongoDB, we need to type the following. And there you go. This point here, if you see the status which is actively running, which means that everything in our installation is okay. Let us proceed now to the next step. Next, to ensure that MongoDB will start on the next reboot, we need to type the following.
and there you go. Next, after we completed the old installation, let us begin now in using the MongoDB. So let's start. To start with, let us begin using the Mongosh. So let's start. For our first command, we're going to create a admin user. So let's start. From here, let us switch to admin. Then, we're going to create our add user admin. Once done, we need to close it by typing exit. And there you go. Next, we need to enable the MongoDB configuration. So let's start. Once done, let us restart now our MongoDB. And there you go. At this point here, our admin account is complete. Let us proceed now on the next step. Next, we're going to install now the Studio 3P. For this application, we may experience a GUI graphical interface for MongoDB. So let's start. To download the application, let us step over to our browser and type the following. From here, we need to select this download or links. Alright, we're done. Let's proceed now on the next step. Next step, we're going to locate the download files and extract the tar file. So let's start. From here, open your terminal. Type ls. Then, we need to extract this file. Copy the file name. What's done? Press Enter. And there you go. Once done, let us run now our installer. So let's start. Right. From here, let us begin the installation.
Once done, click Finish. And there you go. Alright, at this point here, let us test now the application. If you notice here, we have an issues regarding the login information. So as you can see here, it says that it is unauthorized and it won't allow because it requires an authentication level on the server. So to fix this one, we need to cancel this. Head over to authentication. Then from here, select basic. Let's extend this one. Alright. Now, if you remember the username and password of the administrator, so we need to apply it here. So let's start. So from here, we need to add it one more. I'm going to extend this one. All right, there you go. So from here, we need to assign the database. So for this demo, I'm going to assign the admin database. Right? So once done, let me minimize again. So let's try the test connection. And there you go. Now let's click OK, then save. Then, we're going to connect this one. And there you go. So that's it guys. Hope you like this video. And please like and share. And see you guys on the next video series. Cheers!